Hey everyone, it's Ivan, kitbadger.com, here to bring you another gear review, and today we're talking ammunition to include some of this stuff right here from Minuteman Munitions. My first experience with Minuteman Munitions was a trial by fire of sorts. I reached out and was speaking to Spiro, the CEO, and I said, hey, I'm going to be running in the tactical games in 2018 in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Looking for someone to sponsor my ammo. I honestly haven't used your stuff but would love to give it a try again walking into it completely unknown and Spear was like sure why don't you come on out if you're already going to be in north carolina we're up north of fayetteville and yeah come check out our shop i did just that i went checked out basically their whole facility got to meet spiro super cool guy and see how their stuff was made pretty cool a lot of the stuff they do is remanufactured to include pistol ammo and then they also make new brass whether it's pistol ammo or rifle ammo 556 and i believe they're dipping into 300 blackout now too so checked out everything and he loaded me up with ammo for the games went out to a range zeroed a rifle i had never shot before the games were the next day went down competed in the tactical games how did it work out well big picture i walked away with second place in the elite division so it worked out in my favor, I guess. And some of that I absolutely will attribute to the ammunition. But largely when we're looking at ammunition, what are we looking for? Typically it comes down to use. Is this for putting holes on paper? Am I gonna shoot some steel with it? Or is this a defensive load I'm gonna to use to my personal like everyday carry weapon? Is it a hunting load? What am I trying to do with it? And to that end, they offer a bunch of different stuff to include training ammo and largely that's what I do with respect to ammo I train and so what are some considerations there honestly one of the main considerations is price and I think Miniman Munitions offers some really good ammo at that price so what's really good ammo is it something that groups super well honestly this pistol will outperform my abilities as a shooter with pretty much any ammo like match nine mil what i would see no benefit from that when it gets into rifle kind of a different story but with respect to pistol it outshoots my abilities like period so with that i'm not necessarily looking for match grade ammo so what constitutes good ammunition well first of all made to spec what do i mean by that well to illustrate the point, a while ago, I bought a case of 1,000 rounds from Freedom Munitions. Pretty much all the ammo was out of spec. Basically, the primers were all set too deep. What does that mean? Well, not much depending on what you're shooting. If you're shooting a Glock, which is super sloppy to begin with, it would shoot pretty much all of them. But putting it through my P7M8 by HK, bunch, bunch, bunch of light primer strikes. Why? Because the germans and their engineering made that rifle or <laughs> rifle made that pistol with respect to truly in spec ammo because they're amazing engineers so it was made to shoot ammo that was in spec it wasn't made to have this really sloppy tolerance with respect to how deep the firing pin goes consequently I had a bunch of light strikes this stuff haven't had any issues whatsoever with it something that may or may not be a consideration is how clean ammo shoots so if you have a copper jacketed round but the back is exposed lead it's going to be dirty it'll cause fouling dirtier than something with a total metal jacket which they offer over at minimum munitions to include blue bullets which is essentially a hard cast lead bullet with a high temp polymer coating going around the entire thing which ultimately will shoot cleaner and won't be as hard on your pistol extending barrel life but most people that will not matter but if you're a high volume shooter might be very important for me personally accuracy is where ammunition does matter with respect to shooting rifle pistol it's beyond my scope it shoots beyond my ability rifle i can actually see a difference in different ammunition now for training ammo that 55 grain stuff does a good job in a good rifle holds like two and a half MOA or so. It's pretty good. As far as the match stuff, if 
I'm doing my part, it'll get down to sub MOA. Granted, that's in a like good rifle. If you have something that has a sewer pipe for a barrel, who knows what you're gonna get. But in my experience, between their training ammo as well as their match ammo, the stuff definitely performs at two different levels. Consequently, there's a price difference between those two. One of the most accurate rounds I've actually shot is the Miniman Munitions 223 68 grain boat tail hollow point using Hornady Match AMP projectiles. Using it out of a Radian Model 1 14 and a half inch barrel, which actually comes with a sub MOA guarantee using Black Hills Match Ammunition, I'm able to get this to shoot really good. As long as I'm doing my part, I can get it down sub MOA at 100 yards, printing right around 0 0.8, 0 0.85 inches. If you're looking for ammo for training or competition, I'd give them a look. Minuteman Munitions has a bunch of great offerings, different loads for different calibers, and cool small business here in the US. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.